Hey guys, this episode is about transforming a room into an elegant room. This is my guest room. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff stored in here. I've got some Mary Kay stuff. Um, I've got a lot of knickknack stuff. I have some, I have a garment bag. I have some projects that we do with the kids, um, which I think I can store somewhere else a little more neater. Um, I don't have anything on this wall. I want to be able to change that. I want to change this bed sheet here. I want everything in here. I want it white. So that's the theme of the room, the elegance of white. I have a lot of light in here, um, so I can bring in plants also. So that's what my other plan is, you know, just to bring in plants, more plants into this room. So, um, and I want to do this on a almost zero budget. The only thing it's going to cost me is almost like $18 that I ordered um, flower pots, six inch flower pots to place in this cabinet there in that shelf, in those shelves there. So that's the only money that I'm spending everything else. I'm going to find around the house that I already have. So again, this is transforming a room on a very, very low budget. And I'm also going to place something again on this wall here, some type of a picture frame or something there um, and just put everything away. So guys, as you can see, I emptied out the shelves. I organized this stuff and I <laughs> placed it in my closet um, only because I have like a little little cabinet in there with, with two or three shelves and I was able to store that nice and neat so I'll show you what that looks like once it's done um, and I only kept more of the project stuff in there so um, I'm going to start to put the plants together and I have to repot some of those plants I'm going to do that and then um, I'm going to hang up some some uh, the picture frames so picture frames here, I'll show you how I did that and what I'm going to put on there. I'll try to get another one to place here and maybe put plants here. I'm thinking of changing um, the bed sheet here, all this. I would like to make it make all white um, and just clear some of this stuff out on the other side. I'll show you what that looks like. So let's get started bringing things in here. guys so what I decided was I started looking all around the house and I found these two paintings that I've had for years um, this is a painting that actually my daughter Amy did uh, back in 2000 I noticed that year because I wrote it on here back then um, so I had framed this in a black uh, aluminum uh, picture frame so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use acrylic paint with a uh, sponge brush and I started the process here and, and all I'm doing is just like dabbing the paintbrush on the frame and I'll probably have to do this twice so that way I can um, paint the picture frame in white because I like to keep everything white on there. And then I also found this picture frame um, and this is a uh, picture frame that my daughter purchased for me with her first paycheck. Uh, that from her job that she had when she was 16, my daughter Wanda, and um, she was working at the Woodland um, Community uh, Church, and they had a program there for teenagers um, to work with, you know, to, to be counselors for other other kids. So, um, so she purchased this with her very first paycheck. Um, so it is very special to me also. And even back then, she saw that um, again. There's flowers on this. Um, on this uh, portrait, right? So look how beautiful, it looks like wildflowers. Um, so I'm going to, I started in, to paint in white and I'm using that white acrylic paint and I think that's also gonna work. So I'll be able to, to use these pictures on top of the bed um, on the wall there. So that way I can kind of fill in that wall since it's so bare. So so guys, again, you this, this is a, um, a makeover on a budget because literally I'm the only thing I'm spending money on is just flower pots eight, uh, 15 flower pots that I ordered um, six inch flower pots I ordered from Amazon um, and then I'm going to transfer some plants to those flower pots um, 
So again, I'm transferring everything to white flower pots throughout the house, so um, I decided to definitely go white in there. Um, so that's really the only money that I am spending on this makeover for that room. Um, and I just want to bring in some elegance, you know? I just want to be able to, to make that room a little bit more inviting than what it is. It seems like a little storage room right now, just a little, you know, someone comes over, stay there, and there's nothing really special about that room. So, so let's see uh, if we can create that, okay? So... Um, I'm going to finish painting this and then we'll work on something else in there. Hey guys, so what a coincidence that my box just, Amazon just dropped my box off for my uh, flower pot. So I'm curious to see. And again, remember I told you guys this is the only thing that I spend money on. Um, so I just want to, kind of curious to, I think I saw them on Amazon, but. Let me see what they actually ship me. So this is what I'm going to use for the shelves back here. And oh wow, guys, look. They are really nice flower pots. They're bigger than what I thought. Um, they have the drainage, and then the saucer is in here. So maybe just open one up and see what it actually looks like. So again, everybody, this is just, just unveiling my flower pot. So you know that's a big deal. Um, social media now. So I thought maybe I will try it, right? So so here are my flower pots that I ordered. And look. And I think this is the perfect size. Again, great drainage. And then um, here's the salsa so the water doesn't go through. Okay? So overall, I am very pleased. So I highly recommend um, you guys also try to use these for your smaller plants. Um, if you're starting small with house plants, and then as time goes by, when your plants, you know, get larger, you guys can definitely just um, replant them in larger plants. But this is a perfect size. This is the six inch flower pots. So this is what I will be using for my plants on this wall and maybe on this shelf, I'll have to see. So, um, so guys, you just saw the unveiling of the flower pots. So I thought that was exciting fun for me anyway so so let's continue on and um, I'm going to start to uh, repot my plants place them in here then I'll start bringing them in and then we can um, continue on thanks hey guys so it's the next day um, I didn't get a chance there was no way I was going to be able to get all this done in one day so it's the next day and I've got a lot of work to do in here so um, but last night I actually, guys, look what this looks like. This was the painting, remember that I showed you? Um, and this was pink, the inside of the, the border of this portrait, and um, I took it off. Actually, you can just take the little clips, open them up a little bit, and just take the picture out. And I painted that with acrylic paint. And look at that, to my surprise, I think it looks wonderful. And I think the paint on the frame came out really good, too. Um, I also painted this one. So remember it was the black border, so now I have the white border. Um, so I'm gonna put those up on that wall and I'm going to bring my plants in. So there's a lot of work that I have to get done. Um, this table, it's, I like the table, but it's brown. So I'm going to paint this table maybe another time. So I'm gonna take it out of the room, also the lamp. I've got another one and I'm gonna bring that table in uh, with another lamp that I'm going to place there, which is also white. So I'm keeping the theme white, remember, just to bring in that touch of elegance. Um, so let's get started, guys. So I'm going to start hauling all this stuff over.
okay guys so I am done so I can't wait till I show you uh, the transformation in here um, it's definitely fun transforming this and just remember the only thing I spent was $18 on my flower pots I didn't spend a penny on anything else so it is possible for you guys to transform a room on a budget almost a zero budget if you didn't if I didn't need the the flower pots so so with no further delay let's so, what do you guys think? Remember we didn't have anything on that wall? Remember the picture frames that I painted? Acrylic paint, again I had those here already. I changed my bed sheets again to just white sheets that I already had. I replaced my variegated um, peperomia with my philodendron Congo red. Look how beautiful. Look at that. And I've got a new leaf coming in there, guys. So I cannot wait. So that's my philodendron Congo red. And then I replaced that, that table that was there and the lamp just to bring in the same colors. And from here, those plants just stand out again because they have that white background I also decided to put a carpet in here only because we have hardwood floors um, so I had one it's like a light gray so that's what I placed in here maybe later on I'll replace it with a uh, with a white one I put my avocado plant here with the white flower pot there I've had this one for a couple of years um, and then here, what I did was I put my string of pearls, that string of pearls. Um, then I have my syngodium there, and that was like a trailing one. It kind of hangs. I have the mother plant in the greenhouse, and it's really big, so that's how it grows. My spider plant, my string of hearts, right there, in the center. Apelia peperomia. I think they call it silver dollar or something like that. And then I have here my Scylla. Scylla viola sea. I think I'm saying it correctly. It looks like a leopard, guys. Look how beautiful that plant is. And this gets pretty big. It starts to multiply in the clumps there. So that's going to get nice. This is another Syngonium. This one, um, my brother-in-law actually gave me a clipping of this plant and this one came from Puerto Rico so I can't wait till this one gets really big also. Thanks Rick! And then I have my sweet and ivy right there and that one also will trail down and that gets pretty big really nice. I, might, I have my syndopsis here I'm propagating that those cute little flower pot flowers bases they're just so cute so i do have um i do have the roots growing on there already so later on i might transplant that one and then have my spider plant there and on this side i brought here my rubber tree variegated rubber tree how nice that one's going I have my Song of India. I love this plant. This plant gets huge. I mean, this thing just grows just quite a few feet. I can't wait to see it grow that much. And then I have my Philodendron Imperial Red. And just to tell you guys, I have fallen in love with Philodendrons. I might start collecting a variety of them, so. And then, place that picture right there. And again, guys, it was more just to bring in, I have that picture from up there. That one I won't take from there. It's my favorite picture of my mom and dad. Um, my dad passed away um, many years ago, and my mom is still with us. But this is my favorite picture, so I won't remove that one from there. That's the only exception um, in this room. But other than that, guys, again, look at the elegance in this room. Um, you know, you have 
someone coming over, um, you know, is to treat your guests with hospitality and be able to bring them, you know, to give them that warm welcome um, to stay with you guys, right? So definitely I encourage you guys to, to look around your house and see, you know, what can you, can you update to be able to just bring in just something different um, in your in that room and it doesn't have to cost anything again because the whole thing about this guys was was the budget right keeping everything on a budget um, this lamp I wanted to show you guys this is original to this house we moved here and it was here already so I wanted to keep that Oops. pretty nice pretty unique so again thank you guys Thank you for being with me through this journey. Um, I hope I can find another house, another room in this house and just, um, you know, see what else I can transform, you know, on a budget and just uh, have fun with it, you know. Every once in a while, I just need to change a little bit of something um, at home. Hey guys, so I had to run an errand, literally, right, at, almost at the end of the video, so I didn't get to finish it. So. Um, but my, while I was out running the errand, I ran to the Christmas tree store and I saw those two picture frames there. And I said, wow, it's perfect. Got to have them for my transformation room. Um, and these are actually picture frames. They're not portraits. Um, but I didn't realize that until after I purchased them. But they look nice. They have the plant on there which is uh, kind of like the look that I was looking for. And there's the other one, they're identical. Um, so I decided to go along with that. They're only $5.99 each. So that's what, $12 and the 18. So that takes me almost to what, $30? Um, so this room was literally transformed with $30 guys that is it nothing else not a penny more $30 everything you see here is a total of $30 so you can do it guys look around and see what you guys can definitely transform um, without not even spending a penny. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I have fun putting all this together. Uh, so go out and transform a room, right? Uh, and do it on a budget. It is possible. You guys know that I was able to do that here. So, um, so if you're just watching the channel for the very first time, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button and don't forget to like. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.